Hi everyone, it's Roger here, firmdiskingdom.com and popvinyls.com with the weekly top five um, video. So I'm doing a slightly bit different this week, trying to do, um, mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to run through the top five stories of the week, which include um, some new Haraki figures for um, Mickey Mouse. You've also got some new mystery minis featuring the Disney princesses and companions. Lion King, Zoom Zoom, Star Wars light effects. And also the Haunted Mansion Pops. So kind of very um, sort of toy emphasis this week. Um, not a huge amount of like sort of Star Wars or Disney movie news. That's all kind of seemed to have disappeared. So let's jump straight into some of and some of the other bits and pieces that we've seen this week. So, first off, let's kick off with our um, Star Wars light effects figures. So these um, are now available in the US. They're not all available straight away. Um, Luke Skywalker is at Walmart. Yoda is at Target. Obi Wan Kenobi is at GameStop. Darth Vader is at Toys R Us. Anakin Skywalker is at Best Buy, and Canon is at uh, Amazon. They're not all available straight away. Like I said, um, Yo uh, Yoda is out, Anakin Skywalker is out, and also um, Obi Wan Kenobi is out. You might be able to find um, Darth Vader at Toys R Us. He's supposed to be out on the 15th in the US. Um, next week, Amazon will have Kanan, and also Luke Skywalker is now available to pre order it as well from Walmart. He's due out on the 15th. So these look pretty cool. Can't wait to get hold of these myself. Unfortunately, in the UK, they're not out to the 18th. They are going to be available at different retailers as well. Kind of look quite interesting. I'm going to pick up um, the Darth Vader one because he looks kind of quite interesting. I was going to change flip gears now over to the Disney Princesses and Sidekicks Mystery Mini figures. So these are a mystery set which are going to be coming out um, around about April time. They look kind of quite cool. The mystery minis are blind boxes. They, they're kind of cool. You can pick them up at little stores like Hot Topic. I suspect Hot Topic are also going to have some exclusive figures of their own. I think they all look rather cute. So you've got quite a lot. Of the, you've got all the princesses here. So you've got Anna and Elsa. You've got um, Cinderella, Belle, Jasmine, Little Mermaid. Um, you've got Merida. And also, I think it's Atara. I can never remember the, the name of the girl from um, Frog. Uh, sort of the princess and the frog I can never remember that but these look pretty cool I love the little companions as well very cute little series I think these look pretty in interesting so what do you think of them let me know in the comments below and this past week we saw the new Lion King Zoom Zooms got um, announced and these are now available in Disney stores they're also available online lots of different ones these are going to be coming out on the um, the first sorry on the fifth of January 2016, so that's the first Zoom Zoom Tuesday of 2016. So you've got um, Timon, you've got Pumba, you've got um, Scar, you've got one of the um, hyenas, you've got Zazu, Rakifi, Nala, Musafa, and Simba. So kind of quite a cool collection. Loads and loads of, um, of them coming around at the minute. It's kind of quite interesting to see how many we've got of them kind of coming through but I, I like the look of them I think they look pretty pretty neat okay now let's move on to this one I'm gonna say I butcher this every single time Abe on our podcast is always kind of um, thing so there's a black and white version so this is limited edition size um, I think that's 500 there so he looks really cool you can now pre-order it at um, Entertainment Earth there's also the plain Mickey one which is 750 um, he's available earlier at the minute at the Toy Tokyo um, stand at, I think it's WinterCon this weekend. But I expect this one to be available everywhere at 7.50. It's quite high for these. And then you've got these Buzz Lightyear ones. Now, I've got to admit, I've never really been a big fan of this line too much before. I've kind of always thought them a bit stiff. But I love the fact that, you know, we've got some ones. I like to keep them to the original colours. I don't like all the different, like, different tones and the rainbow ones and the gold and the red. You know, that is easily these you know but i think this black and white one is actually i think actually some such a cool figure and i am really tempted to see that one um so i think i know there's quite a few disney fans that have really kind of been quite interested in this line and jumping in some other pop vinyl stuff um these guys the haunted mansion pops are really really popular without doubt one of the they have been the biggest story for us for the last couple of weeks I'm um, really, really popular, as you can see, see there. It does say Disney Parks exclusive, but they did actually turn up online on Friday morning. They sold out very, very quickly, as expected. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see, you know, these aren't limited edition. 
they can pro probably just keep um, sort of bringing them out and just kind of yeah like I said they'll just keep bringing them out because there's a lot of money to be made from these and I just think it's the initial launch line is sort of slightly more popular there's also been an issue with some of the um, the actual names have been mixed up on some of the boxes which is not so good but I expect they'll be coming out eventually my guess with these is patience if you can be patient they are going to be around for a while if you can hold out the fact that they've already gone online pretty much says that they are not they're probably not gonna be as hard to get as we maybe think they are they were just very very quick to sell out at the beginning I must I do love this glow in the dark hat box ghost I think it's glow in the dark it just looks so cool completely clear I think you know 20 bucks a piece they are expensive but this is Disney you know this is what happens with Disney ones they are more expensive um, but yeah that's the thing so yeah, this is, that was a, sort of our top five um, stories of the week. I thought I'd just, like I said, I'm just going to try a different format this week um, rather than doing it the way I was doing it. i uh, just put in a little bit more sort of free and a little bit more just do it in one take and just kind of try and enjoy it. So there's been lots of other stories as well that have gone up this week. You've got the new Haunted Mansion comic book series that um, was announced. There's, that's looking quite interesting. I'm kind of interested in them. I always like the Disney Kingdom comic books. Um, other bits and pieces where there's the new um, Star Wars Jakku uh, DLC that's, that's now available uh, for people that did the pre-order but it's also available this coming Monday for everybody else which I'm kind of excited about there's a new Tron game uh, that run slash R now I'm not entirely, it's a bit of a free runner I'm not too sure quite how this is going to work it's available for early Steam access at the minute you can jump into it and kind of have a go at it, it I don't know what, where it's going to go if it's I think it could very easily be maybe an iOS game, Android, and they've kind of just put it out early to kind of maybe raise a bit of money, raise a bit of, um, to see what they can do with it. Um, because it doesn't look a complete free one. But then, there again, it could turn up on consoles eventually as well. It's one of those kind of cool things with Steam. You know, they can kind of do this with this early access. It's kind of giving you almost like a demo, like a beta version, um, which is kind of interesting. But as we get closer to um, Christmas, there's lots and lots of um, good offers around and stuff. For lots of Disney and bits and pieces. But I'm, I think everyone, if we're all getting very, very excited about the Star Wars Force Awakens movie coming out in just a couple of weeks. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know which of these um, topics you love the most this week. Love to know your thoughts on it. Um, but anyway... Like I said, just remember you can check us out at DisKingdom.com, PopVinyls.com. Hit that subscribe button. Check us out on all the different social medias. Um, and also check out the podcast that we've done this week, me and Abe. We did the Infinity and Beyond one where we were talking about the Star Wars Force Awakens Infinity trailer. We also discussed the Good Dinosaur movie. Um, Abe gave his thoughts on that. And we also broke down the Civil War trailer for the Marvel side, which was rather exciting, and we'll have some more podcasts up next week. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up, and we shall see you guys in a later video. Laters. Cheers.